December corn price is moderately lower on the opening. Some call it profit-taking. Weekly USDA export sales definitely on the low end of expectations at 14.7 million bushels. However, it's still 51% higher than last week. Um, Canada and Mexico were the chief buyers, according to the report, and total corn commitments were up 10.4% year over year. Going into the meat of this session, uh, corn held a pretty tight range, trying to hold on gains from earlier in the week. Um, news flow that Brazil economic uh, ministry removed corn uh, import tariffs through the rest of 2021 due to low domestic production. Um, there was also news flow that Thursday there was a flash sale of 5.4 million bushels of corn to Guatemala. Also, IGC reported that global corn production they are forecasting next year to be a record of 47.6 billion bushels. Eastern Corn Belt is uh, drying out as we speak, having some problems. Western Corn Belt seems to be a little bit better, although uh, making progress, but still a little bit wet there as well. Looking at CME Group CVOL options, looking at December on a one-month basis, December corn options in about a 35th percentile, three-month uh, relative basis, a 10th percentile. December at the money volatility is slightly lower on the day. Uh, both up variance and down variance are down quite a bit, although down equally, so skew basically unchanged. Options flow that was uh, seen, paper sold 500 November 520 straddles at 30, paper bought, paid five for 2000 March 460 puts versus 533 and a quarter. Biggest volume seen outside of that is a December 550 call, put side the December 520 put.